Hello, welcome to today's edition of Pegasus Test, where we cover Stage 3 of Finnish Brutality 2020, Driver Down. Now in this stage, we've just come off Stage 2, where there was a freaking T-55 tank and some trenches. So you're wondering, how are they going to top that? And when you walk up to the stage, it's looking pretty barren. All you see is uh, the European equivalent of about a deuce and a half, a uh, small bunker, and a spinner and some static targets downrange. Not much, visually, but I'm going to go out and put it out there right now. This was probably the most practical stage of the whole match, the one with the most real-world meaning. Now, what you had to do in this stage was you started from the back of the truck, sitting on the tailgate. On the buzzer, you jumped down, grabbed your rifle out of the truck, and you had two static uh, targets uh, downrange. I'm going to say roughly about 100 meters. And you had to get six hits, but you had to get them one, two, one, two, one, two. Not just pound them, so you had to take them in a typewriter type sequence almost. Once you did that, then you dashed over to the bunker and got your rifle through the firing port, and you followed the same firing sequence. One, two, one, two, one, two. And you got back up and ran back to the tailgate of the truck. Same firing sequence. One, two, one, two, one, two. Then... Using the truck as cover, you went around the front, and using your front drive wheel as a form of cover, you got down in the prone and engaged those targets in the same manner. One, two, one, two, one, two. Then, you uh, cleared your rifle, got up, moved around to the driver's side, and whoops, on the ground, there is a dummy of uh, roughly life size. They said he weighed about 60 kilos, so that's about 125 pounds. Laying on the deck there, he's wounded. You got to get him to safety. So you grab him, drag him back around the truck the way you came, drop him off at the tailgate, and then you haul ass down to, I'm going to say roughly about the 20, maybe the 15 meter line, and blow and behold, there's a pistol spinner that you got to spin. Now, consistent with the videos that you've seen uh, so far, you're going to see Zach Smith own this stage. The guy knew what he was doing and he made it happen. Um, when you watch my run, well, you know, you're going to cringe. <laughs> uh, at this point, um, the pulled hammy is really holding me back, and also you're going to see that fogging was going to cause me a problem on my glasses. Um, so much so that I actually had a false start, because the buzzer went off, jumped down, grabbed my rifle, attempted to clear my glasses, and actually knocked them off. And at that point, they had to stop the shooting and reset. Now that was one of the very cool things about Verostaleka here as ROs. You know, they didn't DQ me for it, they just said stop, we'll start over. So when you start to see my run, you're going to see me load my rifle and then go. That's not how the stage went. You started with a loaded rifle, but in the excitement of resetting, I didn't do that. So that cost me some seconds on the clock. Um, the uh, gimping along slowed down. I wasn't really dashing between the points, I was kind of sauntering. And I lose a lot of time from when I'm finished with the rifle portion to getting my happy ass up to where I need to be for the spin the spinner. But, as I said, I believe this was the most practical real-world stage. Go ahead, take a look at my run, and in the same format we've been, as soon as my run's over, we're going to show you Zach's run so you can see exactly how it's supposed to be done. Shooter ready? Ready. Stand by.
there you have it there's the runs and I think you can see by watching those how the real world practicality of the stage fit in your vehicle's been disabled you have to get out you have to engage a threat you can get to a covered and concealed position oh, but you got to go back to the vehicle because you've got wounded personnel you've got to get to safety and then just the added measure of getting up there the stress after doing all that back and forth and a dash of about 70 meters and then having to engage a pistol spinner that's a real challenge on this one, my biggest challenge with fogging on the glasses due to my uh, mask due to COVID-19 requirements was that a lot of times I'm engaging targets by looking where the target stands. It's like, okay, I can see the white uprights that are holding up the targets. I don't really see the targets. I'm just firing between the up, uh, uprights, kind of getting my hits through volume of fire, depending on that RO, to call the hits. And they were spot on about that. They did really, really good and props to the ROs for that. Uh, the spinner, as you can see, I was able to keep it moving, but I never really got it to the point it was, John, oh, it's just going to go over with a few more shots. I never got to that point, and I freely admit that. 
Um, spinners are frustrating. They're a type of target that you don't get to practice with awesome, uh, all that often, excuse me. And, you know, practice makes perfect on that kind of stuff. So it's a challenge when you encounter it, when you don't practice it, but it still doesn't take any of the fun away. We're hoping you're enjoying this series on Finnish Brutality. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and tune in tomorrow for Stage 4.